All right, so here's what happened. We're just playing Weekend League on Saturday, just trying to finish up our games, all 25. We're not streaming, we're not recording, anything like that. And then we matched up with Problem Right, who in my opinion is the best Madden player of all time. Three Madden Challenge Championships, a Madden Nation Championship, four MCS Finals appearances in the MCS era. Awesome player. So when I saw that, I decided, you know what? Maybe I should record this game just in case. And I am so glad that I did because it ended up being, in my opinion, at least so far this year, the game of the year. It was so much fun. So I hope you all are excited for it. I hope you all will enjoy it. Now, I was only recording the game and then my live commentary. So a lot of the recording is going to be me commenting it after. Still going to be highly edited. And it's also going to have a couple mixed in of the live reactions. So I hope you all are ready for it. It's going to be a different type of video than we usually do. But enough of this, enough of the intro. Let's jump into the video. What's good, everybody? And we're back. Super excited to bring you this game today. So I don't want to take too long on this. But I do want to give a like over for the video of 1,000 likes. That would be awesome if we could hit that. Regardless, I appreciate every single one of you. I do want to ask that you could comment on the video if you're interested. Because I'm actually going to be trying to reply to every single one of you. For the first two days the video is up, I've done a challenge like this in the past. I've done pretty well, but I haven't gotten to everybody, I don't think. So I want to try it again here. Every single person who comments, I'm going to try to reply to it, whether it's a question, just saying, hey, what's up, whatever you want to do. But that's it for this. I don't want to take too long on it. Let's jump over to the lineup. So this was the lineup that we used on Saturday for Weekend League. We're recording this after the fact. As you may notice, the chill factor and the snow are up there. But this was the lineup that we used. Josh Allen was our QB. Reggie Bush was our starting running back. And then Barry Sanders is our backup running back, who also starts just because we're in split close. We start two running backs. Tyree Kill was our starting wide receiver number one. And then Devin Hester was our new pickup wide receiver number three as we made some, uh, we actually made several changes to our lineup, but didn't get much play. I don't think Devin Hester played at all in this game just because we're, we're starting two wide receivers. Because of split close, we started tight end as well. So Terry McLaurin was our wide receiver number two. Now at tight end, we have Chris Cooley. And we also have Vernon Davis who didn't play in this game, but we had that option available to sub Vernon Davis in at a wide receiver position if we wanted to change up our personnel. O-line, we've made some upgrades. I believe we picked up Pouncey, Norwell, and Covert uh, over the weekend. And then for abilities, I did want to talk about some abilities that we're using right now. We might be switching up uh, going across the board, but for right now, we have Edge Protector um, on Jimbo. We have Edge Protector on Ogden. And then we have Slot Apprentice on Chris Cooley. Tight End Apprentice does not work in split close, even though it's a tight end uh, position because they're actually lined up in the slot. So it's Slot Apprentice. Barry Sanders, backfield master. Brandon Scherf, we have threat detector. Uh, Terry McLaurin, we just have double me on. And then we have Omaha and Gunslinger on Allen. And then backfield master again on Reggie Bush. So that's the abilities for offense that I actually was pretty happy about this weekend. I like the way that they played. So I'll probably stick with those abilities, at least for right now. Defensively, we have Buda Baker as our starting free safety. Kendall Fuller as our backup free safety. We picked up Derek Thomas to replace Lawrence Taylor. That was just another way of getting an extra chief. Uh, Chiefs player in there as I didn't talk about this before but we switched up our chemistries for the theme teams we now have 25 out of 30 Chiefs and 25 out of 30 Washington football team whereas before we were going 25 out of 30 Niners instead of the instead of the Chiefs so we still have Ricky Jackson Taylor Mays is our starting sh uh, strong safety Tyron Matthew was just another safety we had uh, we, we put in there to get that extra Chiefs player if DRC is one of our starting corners, Deion Sanders, Darrell Revis was another pickup in order to uh, match that Chiefs team. But it's also a really solid corner that I liked uh, throughout the weekend. Sneed's another Chiefs corner that we were using before, but was really just a specialist before, but now is in the starting position because they match that Chiefs chemistry. And then the defensive line, the only one that starts across the defensive line is Javon Kurtz. The rest are really just for uh, matching the chemistries again. Specialist, uh, I believe Shaquille Griffin. Shaquille Griffin's the only one in the specialist that starts for us. It just, uh, Griffin didn't match either of the chemistries that we were using, and we needed to get to that 25 out of 30, so we played some other players in the starting positions, but Griffin actually does start for us when the game starts. For the uh, for the playbooks, we have Patriots offense. Because we're in that split close mainly, I love the split close pads. It's actually the same as the Miami Dolphins one, but very effective uh, split close formation right now. And then Giants is on defense. That is it for the playbooks. Now, keep in mind, remember during the game, if you see my face cam, it's going to be uh after the fact uh recording and then if it's if you don't see my face cam, it's gonna be my live reaction during the game because we only got the gameplay and the voiceover we didn't get the face cam as we were recording it on saturday so that is it for the team wait i actually forgot here to go over the defensive abilities and they actually came into an important spot during the game which i'll talk about afterwards but i did want to go over these we have universal coverage on Darrell revis no superstar abilities activated buda baker we have out my way and secure tackler 
DRC, just universal coverage again. Kendall Fuller, tackle supreme. Deion Sanders, another just universal coverage. I like that ability for that X factor from when they get a pick, they're activating, they play a little bit better in coverage. I like that as an X factor. So that's why we use all three on that. Maybe I'll change in the future. I'm not sure, but I've liked that so far. Inside stuff on Javon Kurtz, Jeremy Chin, tackle supreme, and then Taylor May, secure tackler. A lot of my abilities are really focused around stopping the run. We have secure, secure tacklers. We have out my way. We have uh, tackle supreme. We have inside stuff. It's really focused around, around stopping the run as I think the run's pretty good right now in Madden 21 next gen. So that's why we had these abilities. Now that's it for the team. Let's jump into the game. Here we go with this one. We're going to be starting on defense for it. Here we go. Problem is going to be starting off in this tight off set. Very effective formation in my opinion this year. Nice tackle, nice tackle. Very effective formation this year, especially with passing the ball. Now going down this I form, close can be very effective running the ball and then also might have some passes out of it. Now we have a big third down coming up. Let's see if we can get a stop. Third and eight early on in this game. We're likely going to get one of Problem's best plays. We swat that out of there. Nice swat. Let's go. Now on this fourth and eight, we're likely to get another one of Problem's best plays again. We get a swat on that. Great play from our safety. That was our safety in a deep half making the swat. Let's go. Now after that stop, we would ideally get a seven, but we definitely don't want to make any mistakes. We definitely don't want to make any mistakes. We would much rather a three than to turn the ball over, throw an interception and give the ball right back. Problem played zone coverage and sent five on that first play. Not going to blitz here. Ooh, ooh, we might have had our running back early on in that play, but again, we do not want to make any mistakes. Third and 19 here, we're just looking to take what's available. Again, we don't want to make any mistakes. We'll take the running back, we'll take the running back. Ooh, I actually really want to go for this, but you know what? We, we're up a stop. We should probably just take our three, see if we can get another one. Problem's going back to this I form close to start this drive off. Ooh, ooh, good tackle, good tackle. Going back to this I form close here. I know I already mentioned the run can be pretty effective out of this. Gonna be a pass here. Oh, it's like a little screen. Oh, oh, good tackle, good tackle. That's kind of like a makeshift screen with the fullback going out first, leading the running back. You throw the running back wheel, it's kind of like a lead blocker. This high form close giving us a little bit of trouble to start this drive. I've actually had trouble with this a lot this weekend league. It's definitely an effective formation this year. And T Maze, T Maze, T Maze made the play. T Maze with the block shed. T Maze with the force fumble. Let's go. What a play by Taylor Mays right there to shed the block and then force. The fumble, but you know what? We're just gonna run the ball to get to a hash mark here. And we're actually going to set our ball carrier to conservative because I like to do that early on in the game. I guess I forgot, but that's definitely something I like to do. I feel like you fumble a decent amount in this uh, in this Madden, so I definitely want to be on conservative. I definitely don't want to allow us to fumble to give the ball right back. Now that we've gotten to a hash mark, we're going to one of my favorite concepts from last year, the Wheeler Post. We got Reggie Bush. Let's go, Reg. Let's go, Reg. The Wheeler Post last year. I love that concept. I love it here again. Come on. We're actually going to flip this run away from the slot corner. We're going to run it to the left here. I think it could be there. Oh, 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 I think we had it outside. I ran straight pretty much right into the blocker. I think we had it outside. We're going to one of my favorite red zone concepts from last year, the double wheels. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? We don't want to take that hit with our QB, but great job by Josh Allen hanging on to the ball. I'll show you here. We got a little bit tangled inside. Look, the running back to the left was there, but we got a little bit tangled inside. That's okay. I thought I saw something before with this run to the left away from the slot corner. We're going to try it again here. That looked like a run commit. That looked like a run commit. Really nice play by problem right there. We're just going to take this to the two-minute warning. It looked like we had the double wheels before. We're going to try it here again. Reggie! Reggie Bush, let's go! Now with under two minutes here and a two possession lead, we're gonna try to make problem work as much as possible. Nice tackle, any tackles and bounds, short catches, and then from there, trying to get a stop. Oh, nice pocket, nice pocket. Ooh, ooh, nice pocket right there. Great play from problem. We want to continue here to try to take as much time as possible. And we got some pressure, yes! This is a big third and 13 right here. We're going to cover three, but it's more of a cover two invert with the deep pass on the outside. I have the middle of the field. Oh no. Oh, that is an absolute laser. That was a big time dot to move the chains right there. Oh, nice read, nice read, nice read. They're definitely putting together a nice drive now, going to the 0-1 trap. Nice tackle. Going back to this 0-1 trap here, and they're in. Great drive by problem to answer back right there, but we do have just over 30 seconds left and we still have a timeout. So if we're able to get seven on this drive, I actually will give away a $50 gift card. So if you're interested in participating in that, 
Details to come if we score. To start this drive off, we were just looking for a pass play to try to get to a hash mark. Ideally, I usually try not to pass the ball from the middle of the hash marks as we call a timeout here. I usually try not to pass the ball from the middle of the hash marks because I think it's a little bit tougher. But with less than 40 seconds left, I felt like we should pass the ball instead of trying to run the ball to get to the hash mark. And we actually activated Omaha so we can see problems defense now. It actually looks like a cover six. So what we're going to try to do is actually try to get down the middle of the field with that skinny post from McLaurin against that cover six. With only 30 seconds left here, ideally we can get a big play because it's going to be tough to move the ball down the field without getting out of bounds or picking up a big play. And it looks like we're going to have McLaurin going deep. Let's go! Yes! So we did get the touchdown within the time frame. So we will be giving away a $50 gift card. If you're interested in participating in that, I'm going to be running it on my YouTube community post. So all the details will be there. It should go live about the same time as this video. So it should be there waiting for you. With 21 seconds remaining here and no timeouts for either team. We do not want to give a big play over the top. We got stuck on our DT. We got stuck on our DT. Uh-oh. 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 And they're going to get the touchdown right back. So basically there goes the touchdown that we got. Problem was able to get it right back. It looked like an outside streak or outside fade against our cover two. Great play from Problem. Now, pending this extra point, it's actually going to be a three point game. Now, it is our ball at halftime, so we still do have a chance to make it a two score game again. But great play from Problem right there. Starting off this half, we're just going to try to run the ball to try to get to a hash mark. We have some space. We have some space, Reggie. Let's go, Reggie. Okay, we got to our hash mark now, and we still have Omaha activated. We still have Omaha, so we can see problems defense. It looks like a cover four quarters. It looks like a cover four quarters, and we think we can beat this over the top. We think we can beat this over the top with that outside route to Tyreek Hill. We're looking. We're looking. We're throwing. We're throwing. We're throwing a pick. Oh, the great defense right there. I thought we might have had it over the top. Now we got to try to get a stop. Great defense from Problem right there. Now we have to try to get that stop back. Great job, Taylor Mays. We're using this cover three against this Y-off trio as we gave up a touchdown before half with cover two. So we feel like cover three is probably the move on that. Is that going to be a third and in inches? Yes, it's going to be a third and in inches. Here we go. We're looking to shoot the gap on any runs to the right. Team A's, Team A's, Team A's. We got a big fourth down coming up. This fourth down is one of the biggest plays of the game so far. And we got some pressure. And we got some pressure. Yes! Now that we have the ball back here, we're going to try to get this two-score lead. And problem actually had been in this cover four quarters for the majority of the game. So we should have one of our hitches here. We're going to have Tyreek. We have Tyreek. Let's go. Let's go, Tyreek. We're actually going to try audibling down here. We hadn't done this at all during the game just to see if problem had defense for it. And that actually looks like a run commit. That actually looks like a run commit. That's a nice play from problem. On the second and goal, we're going to go back to our favorite red zone concept, the double wheels. Both wheels are taken away. Tyreek, Tyreek, Tyreek. Problems coming out of this I form close to start the drive. Ideally, here we get a stop on this drive, but if not, we want to make problem take as much time as we can. Going back to the stretch to the right. And there's some running lanes there. There's some running lanes there. I know we made the tackle, but it actually looks like there's some space there to make some plays. They've taken a little bit of clock here as we're now a little bit into the fourth quarter. Nice read, nice read. Nice read. We've got a fourth and three here, so we have a chance to get a stop. That's a dot. That is an absolute laser by problem right there on fourth down. Big time play and goes no huddle here. I'm watching the middle. I'm watching the middle. Nice read. Nice read. Ideally here, we want problem to take a little bit more time. Whether they get a nice run. Nice run with that 0-1 trap. Whether they get a field goal or a touchdown, they'll be within one, one possession. So we want them to take as much time as we can right here. We're going to go no huddle again. Nice read on the outside. Nice read. And they're going to get in. So that's going to cut it to a three-point game, pending the extra point. And we're going to be looking to clock out. So that's probably going to take about three, maybe four first downs, depending on how many downs it takes to get those first downs. On this first and 10 here, we're just going to run the ball to try to get to a hash mark. Now, I've mentioned several times in this video already that ideally I want to pass from a hash mark. But I actually haven't said my saying yet, which is if we aren't on a hash, we don't want to pass. We are on a hash mark now, so we will pass. And I actually missed my read. I actually missed my read. Why it looked like it was there. The three rack, I'll show you here on the replay, looked like it took it away for a little bit. But once it passed that zone, it looked like we could have thrown it. I missed the read there. Now we're on a third and 19. At this point of the game, we really don't want to punt the ball back. So we're going to try to make this a manageable fourth down by picking up about half our yards back. And we'll actually take our curl. We'll actually take our curl, which makes this about a fourth and five. And this fourth and five was the biggest play of the game so far. We're looking. We're looking. We're still looking. They only sent one at us. We're still looking. We're still looking and we're not finding it. We're not going to pick up 
the fourth down. So you know what? We're actually going to give away another Amazon gift card. I'll put that in the same community post as the other gift card. But we're actually also going to pour this slime, this pink slime, over our head. So I'll take off my hat here. This isn't going to mess up my clothes or anything. It's not going to ruin my clothes. It's just going to be really, really gross. And I actually laid out some paper towels and stuff on the ground, so it's not going to mess up our ground either. But it's... This is going to be so gross. I really don't want to do this. Even It's not going to mess up my clothes or anything, but I don't want to do it. That's... That's super gross. Oh. Super gross. That was super. That was super gross. Super gross. We're gonna go. We're gonna clean this off, and we'll be right back. All right, we've gotten all cleaned up here, and we are ready to lock back in for the end of this game. Now, the situation that we were in, we're either gonna have to get a stop, or problems going to have to score fast enough so that we might have some time to get a score ourselves. So that's what the situation we're in here. They're coming out in this tight offset. They're going to the one trap, Taylor Mays. Taylor Mays making a great play. Big play right here as we just got to the two minute warning. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what a play from problem. What a play to get outside the pocket right there. It is a nice thing though that they got to the 11 yard line because now it's gonna be a little bit tougher of a clock out because they're gonna have to get a first down without getting a touchdown. There's only one yard of space in that first down line in that end zone so most likely if they do score we will get a chance to get the ball back to try to answer with the score ourselves second and eight here and it's going to be another run play we're going to make the tackle right around the four yard line this is another big play coming up we're looking to shoot the gap here on a dive we're looking to shoot the gap here on a dive with teammates and teammates gets the block set oh and they get to the one yard line is it going to be fourth down and it's going to be fourth and inches we need one more stop As you may have been able to tell, I was super, super excited to be able to make that tackle and end up winning the game. Awesome game to problem. It was super fun, super exciting coming down to that very last toss. I hope you all enjoyed it. Quickly here, I wanted to talk about it. I mentioned in the defensive abilities that they might come into play during this game, and that was the play that I was talking about. I didn't set it up this way, but I actually had Buda Baker on the left side of the field there playing against that toss, and I actually happened to have out my way on Buda Baker. I wasn't planning on that. I wasn't trying to stop the toss or anything like that. It just happened to work out that way. And I'm not sure if it came into play, but a lot of the times on that toss, when they're out there, they either get a chop block or they make a good block and they're able to get into the end zone. But Buda Baker was able to make the play there and make the tackle. So that was awesome. I'm not sure if it was because of Out My Way, but I wanted to mention it because I thought it was pretty cool. And maybe you might want to try out Out My Way yourself. But that is it for the video. Again, great game to problem. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe only if you want to. Don't forget about those giveaways on the community post. That should be up there already as you're seeing this video. And do not forget, I'll be trying to reply to every single comment that I see, at least for the first couple days. So that's it for the video. Take it easy. Peace. Amazing game to problem. I'll see you all in the next one.